Hi, my name is Ben and I'm making a game for the Godot Wild Jam in six days. The catch is that I'm documenting my process every single day here on YouTube and I'm also splitting down, splitting up my development cycle into two main phases, the pre-production or prospecting phase for the first four days and the production or mining phase for the last two days. Now it's the end of day four, which means I'm supposed to be done with pre-production. However, you'll see when I show you the build that I have here in just a minute that I'm not ready for production yet. So um, let's look at what I got done today. Oh, and also a uh, shout out to my Indiegogo campaign. Um, I'm writing a book and the book is already funded. It's called Production Point, How to Plan and Finish Your Game. And it talks about these two phases, pre-production and production. Okay, so... This is what I got done today. Uh, it's a good list, right? I got a lot of stuff done today. So um, we got, we added coins to the game and we added mana to the game. And there are ranged units now that can attack from a distance. And uh, I added a store to the game as well, where you can use the coins that you, that you buy or that you earn to buy new cards and add them to your deck because I'm making uh, it's kind of like a base defender deck builder that's what it's turned into so let's look at what that looks like in game so let's come to the project here and I'll run it I've got a build that is technically playable okay so we start our round here and you can see we've got mana and coins up at the top we get some enemy units coming at us we can uh, cast some spells and these spells cost mana and use up the mana we have. So now we've earned one coin, um, we could buy a wall, but that's not gonna be very useful um, with the cards that we currently have in our deck. So I'm just gonna skip this turn and start the next round. And we'll try and surround these bad guys here. Okay, so now we've got three coins. Uh, it, I wish we could buy the bear, but we didn't deal enough damage to get four coins so we'll start with the fire lizard with the lizard so let's do that and then we'll summon it and have some rats here so the what the lizards do is they'll deal range damage mm, do we get the ice blast i think we do we'll buy that we'll freeze this well, that was a bad there we go you can see the lizards do range damage, uh, which is pretty nice. And that, now the wall becomes a lot more useful. So we can place a wall here to trap uh, the enemy units behind that wall. And I think we'll grab... Well, let's wait because I want to get the bear. Um, yeah, that should be good. And so yeah, you can see I've got kind of a basic game loop working and there's no bear here so we're not seeing seeing the bear which is unfortunate um we'll buy who our wall came down that's no good come on where's the bear i want to show the bear i'll just place stuff uh so you can see i've got i've got a basic game loop working and you know, I mean, I made a lot of progress, but the problem is that this, this, it's still, here's the bear. Here we go. You're going to be in our hand. There we go. Let's summon some bears and some wolves and some rats. And yeah. So it, it, first of all, it's too easy. As you can see, um, the enemies don't actually scale with the level. That would be the next kind of thing that I need to do, but it just kind of feels like, um, the strategy element is just gone. Uh, you just kind of like, there is some strategy obviously, and maybe if it scaled in difficulty, the strategy would be more important, right? Like you could see that. Um, but that that maybe right there is a question that I haven't answered yet. And this build, um, if it was a build to say, yeah, I'm ready for production, I'm ready to leave pre-production and go into production, then I would already have that question answered. So pre-production is about answering um, uncertainties and removing uncertainties, and I still have uncertainties 
the uncertainty is if the enemies scaled and got more difficult every single round, would the game be interesting? Would the strategy matter? Would it matter what cards I'm putting in my deck? If I had more card variation, because there's not a lot of card there's not a lot of card variation right now, would the game would the deck building element of the game be more interesting? Because right now it doesn't really feel that interesting. Another question that I had was um I I I think it could be interesting to split the game into uh so like before you start your round um we've had I've thought of this before and some commenters have mentioned this which is having two different deck types having a a creature deck type and a spell deck type and so um at before you start your round you would draw cards from your creature deck and then you would summon those on the board and then you would see where the enemy creatures were and then you would start the round and then you would draw cards that would be spells and then you would cast those spells. So kind of having like um, two separate decks that you're building and then uh, two separate phases where you can kind of take your time to place your creatures to summon them and then run the game and then cast your spells. And that could be interesting. Um, so there's a lot of unanswered questions here and I'm, I'm just, I don't feel like I'm ready for production. So I'm supposed to be moving to production, but I'm not going to because I'm not ready. So, uh, because what I have doesn't feel like it's quite working yet. It feels like there's a lot of potential, but I, it needs some, some pretty big design changes still uh, in order to be interesting and, and in order to answer those questions and remove that uncertainty. So that's the, that's the state that we're in right now. So despite the fact that my my week is supposed to be four days for production and two days or four days for pre-production two days for production it's looking like we're going to have some pre-production friday and uh that leaves me with saturday technically the jam ends on sunday i think um you can see it's two days and 21 hours so there's still uh, i think it ends sunday but i don't really want to work on it on sunday honestly Ever since I had kids, my uh, jamming over the weekend has has not really worked out. So I'm probably just going to just do Saturday. And even, I don't really want to work Saturday that much, but I do want to give this a shot and really try and finish it. And I think I'll have fun, and I probably won't work the full day Saturday. But, but yeah, and I've kept a healthy schedule throughout the week too. You can see it's um, 4.32 right now. Uh, and each day I've kind of started around 7.30 in the morning, had breaks for working out, going on walks, um, meals, and then now I'm rambling, but <laughs> I've, I've had a healthy week, um, a healthy schedule. So I've been doing a pretty good job of avoiding burnout. So yeah, um, when I do move to production, I'm going to announce this now because I've got a little note here not to forget. When I do end up moving to production, be it Saturday or whatever, then I'm going to stream. Um, so you can, in the description, you'll see my uh, Twitch link. I'll be streaming on Twitch and uh, sharing the production side of things with you all if you want to go check that out. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. Hopefully you found this video interesting and I really appreciate everyone who's been following along with this series and I will see you all tomorrow.